let me jump back to the idea of automated reasoning. So the acquisition of new knowledge has been done in this very interesting way, um, but primarily by humans doing this. Um, yes, you can think of uh, monks in their cells in uh, medieval Europe, um, you know, carefully illuminating manuscripts and yes. so on. But it's a very difficult and amazing process, actually, because it allows you to truly ask the question about the in the white space, what is assumed? I think this exercise is um, like very few people do this, right? They just do it subconsciously. They well, perform but, but this. By, um, definition, by right? definition. Because because those pieces of elided, of omitted information, of those missing steps, as it were, um, are pieces of common sense. If you actually included all of them, it would it would almost be offensive or confusing to the reader. It's like, why are they telling me all these? Of course I know that, you know, all these things. Um, and so... Um, uh, so it's it's one of these things which almost by its very nature um, has has almost never been explicitly written down anywhere uh, because uh, by the time you're old enough to talk to other people and so on, um, you know, if you survived to that age, presumably you already got pieces of common sense. Like, um, you know, if something causes you pain whenever you do it, probably not a good idea to keep doing it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so... What ideas do you have, given how difficult this step is, what ideas are there for how to do it automatically without using humans or at least not, uh, you know, doing like a large percentage of the work for humans and then humans only do the very high level supervisory work? So we have, um, uh, in fact, two directions we're pushing on very, very heavily. Uh, currently at PsychOR. And one involves natural language understanding and the ability to read what people have explicitly written down and and to, to pull knowledge in that way. Um, but the other is to build a series of knowledge editing tools, knowledge entry tools, knowledge um, capture tools, knowledge um, testing tools, and so on. Think of them as like user interface um, suite of software tools if you want. Something that will help people to more or less automatically expand and extend the system um, in areas where, for instance, they want to build some app, have it do some application or something uh, like that. So I'll give you an example of one, um, which is something called um, abduction. So you've probably heard of like deduction uh, uh, and um, induction and so on, but abduction is unlike those, abduction is not sound, um, it's just useful. <laughs> so uh, for instance, um, deductively, if someone is out in the rain and it, they're gonna get all wet and uh, when they enter a room, they might be all wet and so on. So that's deduction. But if someone were to walk into the room right now and they were dripping wet, uh, we would immediately look outside to say, oh, did it start to rain or mm -hmm. something like that? Now, um, why did we say maybe it started to rain? That's not a sound logical inference, but it's certainly a reasonable um, abductive um, leap to say, well, one of the most common ways that a person would have gotten dripping wet mm -hmm. is if they had gotten caught out in the rain or something mm -hmm. like that. Um, so... Um, what what does that have to do with what we were talking about? So suppose you're building uh, one of these applications and the system gets some answer wrong. And you say, oh, yeah, the answer to this question is um, this one, not the one you came up with. Then what the system can do is it can use everything it already knows about common sense, general knowledge, the domain you've already been telling it about, um, and context like we talked about and so on, and say, well, here are... Um, seven alternatives, each of which I believe is plausible, given everything I already know. And if any of these seven things were true, I would have come up with the answer you just gave me instead of the wrong answer I came up with. Mm -hmm. Is one of these seven things true? And then you, the expert, will look at those um, seven Got things it. and say, oh yeah, number five is actually true. And so without actually having to tinker down at the level of logical assertions and so on, um, you'll be able to educate um, the system in the same way that you would help educate another person who you were trying to apprentice or something like that. So that, that significantly reduces the mental effort 
or significantly increases the efficiency of the teacher, the human teacher. Exactly, and it makes more or less anyone able to right. to be a teacher um, in that um, in that way. So that's that's part of the the answer. And then the other is that uh, the system on its own will be able to. Um, through reading, through um, conversations with other people, and so on, um, learn the same way that um, you or I or um, other humans do. 